Hello everybody. Welcome to the third video called Every Rock Has a Story. Today's story is about one of the most interesting rocks and I would say one of the more popular rocks when I show different samples to different people. Um, it's one of the most beautiful one is that I have available, but its story actually doesn't have a happy ending. The rock we're going to talk about today is this one right here. And I'll bring it closer in just a second, but it's a beautiful, really shiny, kind of yellowy golden, and it's a beautiful cube shape. Not a perfect cube, but like a box. Look at the shine. Let me bring this a little bit closer so you can see this one. This is what we call a crystal. That is a real crystal of a very special mineral that I'll be telling you about. Look, I can even see my picture in the reflection. That's how shiny it is. Wait, I wonder if I can even see me. Not quite. So you can take a picture of this one if you're keeping a science journal or draw a picture of it. Uh, look at it shine. Make sure you get those perfect square edges and that shiny golden color when you draw this. So the story of this rock also takes us back in time, but we're not going to go as far back in time as some of the other rocks might take us. The story of this rock that I want to tell you takes us back to the year 1849. 1849. Now that's a long time ago. Nobody who was around then is still alive, but there were people, lots of people in 1849. And in fact, what happened in 1849 was one of the most important times in the United States. There was a cry that came out. It was heard across the whole country from California. And the cry was that gold had been found. Somebody said they'd found gold in some of the streams in California. And everybody heard this cry and said, Whoa, gold? I'm going to rush out there. I've got to get myself some of this gold. And so everybody did. Everybody packed up their stuff and they got their hammers and their picks and their shovels and they rushed out to California as fast as they could. That's why they call that the gold rush. That was the gold rush of 1849 when everybody rushed out to California and they gave a nickname to the miners that rushed out there. They called them the 49ers after the year 1849. Well, all those minor 49ers rushed out to California to find their gold and to get rich, rich, rich. But here's where our rock of the day comes into the story. A lot of those 49ers, a lot of them, when they went searching for gold out west, instead of finding gold, they found this. This mineral. And it turns out this mineral is not gold at all. It's heavy, kind of like gold is heavy, and it's shiny and metallic and, and golden in color, kind of like gold is. But this isn't gold. And in fact, a lot of those miners filled up their bags, they filled up their shovels with this stuff. And they said proudly, oh, I'm going to get rich. Look at all the gold I've had. And they would drive all their precious ore to San Francisco and walk up to the banker and say, Baker, I've got a huge sack filled with gold. Give me my money. And the banker would say, I am sorry, but you have been fooled because this is what we call fool's gold. Some of you might have heard of fool's gold, and this is it. A lot of those miners got fooled into thinking that this was gold, and it's not. In fact, besides it being kind of pretty, it's not a very good mineral at all. It's not very valuable or useful. The real name for this mineral isn't fool gold, fool's gold. The real name for this mineral is pyrite. So that beautiful golden shiny cube is called pyrite. You can write that down if you're keeping a science journal. So pyrite, which is also called fool's gold, 
the miners didn't want. So here's where the story gets even worse. So all those minor 49ers who filled their bags with fool's gold, they were really sad. They said, oh no, I thought this was gold. So they would just take those bags of gold, fool's gold rather, and they just throw them away. Or if they were digging in a mine where they pulled the stuff out, when they realized it wasn't real gold, they would just run away or dump all their pyrite over in a pile over in the side and just walk away. So sad. Well, what happens to pyrite? If you leave it in a big crumbly pile after digging it all up, or if you leave it in a mine after all it's been dug out in there, the rain, just regular old rain, hits that pyrite and the rain actually dissolves the pyrite. Pyrite isn't very happy, it's not very stable at the surface of the earth. And when this pyrite dissolves, it makes two things. It makes iron and a little bit of oxygen, which makes it look all rusty and red and orange. And it makes acid, lots of acid. And acid is, it burns, it's dangerous. You don't want to touch acid. And so much acid can come draining out of these thrown away piles of pyrite, fool's gold, that that acid can get into the ground and into the streams. And it's really bad for the wildlife and the fish or for swimming. So we wanna be really careful about throwing away things like pyrite. Just because they're not good for us, if we're not careful with how we throw things like pyrite away, we can make a mess outside in the environment. So that's the story of this rock. It starts with a minor 49ers, fool's gold, and then it can turn into acid. So if you've been keeping a science journal, put that one right back there, you could have drawn a picture like this. I made another example science journal picture. So I wrote the name of the rock, pyrite. I drew a picture of the mineral pyrite. And then I just wrote some pictures and things to remind me what the story was about. It's called fool's gold. And those miners tried to dig it up, but they were sad because they figured out it wasn't real. And then they dumped it off in their piles and walked away. And then it started to dissolve and make all that acid, all that acid, that orangey red iron acid, bad for the environment. So that's the story of this rock. And you'll find, as we go to more and more stories, every rock has a story, sometimes more than one story. And that story of that pyrite, that fool's gold, had a lot of different parts to it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I see you at my next video tomorrow. Bye-bye.